All right, normally I don't start our day admitting our messes. This is literally the first time I've come downstairs. <laughs> it's, this is like epitome of the messes that are in the house right now. I didn't realize the kids brought down laundry last night. I have a load in there I haven't taken out. Um, I have a load up there I haven't folded. I have clean clothes here. I have a pile. I didn't have a full load of white, so there's white right towels right there. And now I need to find enough to wash. I have a section of dirty towels right there. Don't get me started on kids using regular kitchen towels to clean up, you know. Anyway, whatever. But then I've got dirty laundry that I just brought down. Here's my tip if you um want to keep mold out of your washer and dryer. I am going to put my load in here soon. I take these out and I turn them upside down so that all the water can empty out and I leave it open. I also leave the door open to the washer and then I wipe it down. Usually I just grab one of the dirty towels and I wipe it down after the load is done and I'm not putting another one in so that this, this can get dried off and the seal right around there can get dried off as well. And one would think that this is a mess from this morning, but no, Ashley had cereal. What time last night, Ashley? Eight. Late, late, like 8.30 last yeah. night. I didn't really eat like pizza. Yeah, you didn't have much pizza for dinner, right? And this is the mess in the kitchen. They actually haven't made any breakfast yet. They're making their bagel right now. This is all left over from last night. <laughs> I just didn't care last night. Jason went to bed early, so did I. These oranges from Costco yesterday are moldy or broken open in that case. You look right here. Every one of them, oh, that one's fine. But like the openings are all moldy. And if it was closed off, I wouldn't worry about it. But like it's open to the orange. So these ones all have to go back and get returned and There's hopefully like get one that was like split a refund. And like you can see the orange like all moldy. Yeah, it was all moldy. This is my stuff from the dollar store yesterday that I didn't even bother to unpack. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. I just kind of hit a wall last night. But I got a new little lip balm, watermelon flavor. Mm -hmm. I usually just like to use the actual brand, but I thought I would try that one. And then went to my brother-in-law's house, and no, I can't. Um, Chelsea wants me to be quiet, but this yeah. is, I went over to my brother-in-law's house to pick up a paycheck from him, from Jason working for him, and my cute little niece. She had borrowed my Mod Podge um, probably two months ago or something like that, and they finally made it to the craft store, and she wrote me this little note. Sorry, isn't that so cute? Which I had totally forgotten about and I told her not even to worry about getting a replacement for me, but mom said that she needed to teach her daughter a lesson and make sure she repaid for the Mod Podge. And I got some bar soap. I like getting it from the dollar store um, because I can still get name brand, but these at like Target would be like $2 a box, so or a bar technically. The last one I got, I didn't like the scent of it, so I just got plain this time. And then I got a disinfectant spray, so you can spray surfaces down without having to wipe them down, which I kind of like that for travel. This is still with the hopes of being able to travel this summer. <laughs> We're hoping, even if we just go to grandma's, I still want to have something like that, along with two of their little travel size sanitizers. I don't, I want to use like as straight alcohol sanitizers that I can. I don't want to have like, you know, the cute powder, you know, perfumey ones. I like to smell the alcohol when I put my sanitizer on these days. And then there's one more bar of soap in there. But then I got Junior Mints for popcorn. That's my snack. So I actually need to do my receipt with Fetch. And I actually have a new reward, um... Uh, referral I can give you because it's going to give you 4,000 points. So I'm going to upload that. Alright, so I got 25 points for doing that. A lot of that came from like the Dove. Mm -hmm. Having an actual name brand on the receipt helps a lot. Alright, so you're making two little bagels because that's what's left, right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then Grandpa gave us these little packets of cream cheese. When you try to open them, they just I know. Bread. Put it on your plate. So <laughs> this is the, this is what drives me. So this is what they would use the full towels to clean up. Is cream cheese on the counter instead of a paper towel? They would use a full towel like that to smear across all of that cream cheese, and then you can't dry your hand off on that towel with it smeared in cream cheese. So you have to lick it. So then you have to put it in the hamper and a whole towel is wasted. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Can you either lick that off the counter or get a paper towel, please? So Grandpa got us these little individual cream cheeses because it's easier for him to use, but he can't use that many. And so he always divides up his bulk order amongst the families so that he doesn't waste the food. But it makes it difficult because we have to open like six of these packets when we want to make bagels so so that was the phone grandpa's outside he has a surprise should we go see what it is grandpa doesn't realize we just barely got up but grandpa's probably been up for five hours yeah, <laughs> it's I've been up for quite a bit of time you've been up for 20 minutes no. but it is 10 40. I woke up hurry he's outside morning. he's outside I just woke up and, then I came and ashley you have a zoom or no chelsea you have a zoom call in no ashley has a zoom call yeah. in 20 minutes Oh, Let's go see what Grandpa's got. Is he out there? What does Grandpa have? I bet it's ice cream. He usually has ice cream. Watermelon. It's a watermelon. <laughs> Grandpa is so funny. You're so cute, Grandpa. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> they probably won't. They don't share the strawberries. No, don't share with Abby. She'll eat it. <laughs> Thank you. Don't let her see it. Oh my goodness. That's a big watermelon, right, Chels? That's a big watermelon. You see, Chels? Turn around. It's like kind of. That's pretty yummy. I was actually just thinking yesterday, watermelon would taste yum. It sounds bottle. It's, well, that's usually meaning it's ripe. So we'll have to get that cut up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What are you giggling about, Charles? Oh, about the crack. All right, we'll set it back there again. This is my no, extra no, for the day. <laughs> Put it back here anymore. against the counter, <laughs> and we'll make that maybe lunch. Yes. All right. Also, Jason's kind of gone back to his ways of um, making this his desk area. I need to remind him of. <laughs> The fact that he needs to like move to the other room, but my poor peonies uh, They're dying. I've got a few I, the little blooms are good. So I'm gonna pull these ones out uh -huh. But all the big ones look, look at the one Yeah, on this top. one is still okay. Nothing. Yeah, the top one is like <laughs> nothing totally collapsed. Oh, there's literally one right back here that we have Yeah, there's little room. ones that need to kind of get the attention now when I have days like this I, with multiple areas that are kind of chaotic I need to solve one problem and get it working for me before I can move to another one. And laundry is like the easiest one because it just, once you get one load done, you can't do anything else with it until that load is done. So it always makes me feel better to start with laundry. And I have dirty laundry right here. So I think I'm going to do darks. I think my mask might be the problem with my face. Even though I wash this, I don't think I wash often enough. Oh, I think I put a white towel in there. All right, oops. Socking away. Come on, <laughs> go in. So as long as this wash is going, I'm gonna feel better about maybe not having the that one folded and that one folded yet. I'm just gonna get this one started. Then I need to gather, oh my goodness. Start. This shut. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna go find the white towels because I know they're upstairs. And then I'm gonna let this be for now because I'm holding off on the rest of that laundry because I'm starving. Abby, you said there's four more bagels? Oh, I'm right there. Ignore the dirty kitchen. That's next up. But I need to eat. I'm really hungry. It's 11 clock basically so this is the next room I'm gonna work on as I kind of get my breakfast ready you guys I didn't even show the half of it 
milk curtain. Abby went out to get the new milk. She's obviously making oatmeal. Jason had a fight with the Prilosec. I don't understand why we have to leave it. I don't. We left the pizza out last night. There's all his medication from the hospital. It's just a lot. That was my milk. That was your milk? Yes. Looks like Abby took it, but she's coming back with another carton. Can you throw that out to her and tell her to put it in the recycle? So this is the room I'm gonna work on. Because while I have Abby down here, if I can get these counters cleared off, she can wipe them down because the floors need to be cleaned by Kaylee when she comes down. Also, if you're wondering where Jason's at, he's on <laughs> a conference call outside. So he actually might stay home today. He kind of overdid it like yesterday, like I knew he would. So I'm trying, he's actually convincing himself to just go ahead and stay home after he's done with this call. Oh, he's done. I was, <laughs> was going to bring you a hot bowl of oatmeal. But, there you go. Ugh. You don't feel good? I don't know. I'm not breathing as well as I'd like. I'll eat food and take meds. Okay. Alright, kitchen is done. It's taking me a long time to do chores today, guys. Remember how I started this out at, at 1040, right before Ashley's Zoom call? We're almost two hours later. So, the kitchen is clean. Oh, see, and I just barely put these in here, and those guys are already falling apart. That new water just made them bloom even more. Like, that's incredible. That, they were not this bloomed when I put them in. I wish I had shown it. They've been in this water for about an hour, and this one is already falling apart. Falling, I shouldn't put a, put it over my echo right there but all right so I cleaned out the fridge as well so that created all these dishes all those dishes and all these dishes this is just from breakfast and that's the base from the flowers so sometimes what I like to do when I don't like to be this backed up on dishes and Ashley has two hours more to wait for dishes to unload she loves to clean them by hand and these are easy for her to clean by hand these plastic tubs so I think I'm gonna fill this tub or the sink with water and soap and let her scrub at it after she does her homework because she just would rather do this every once in a while than unload the dishes, so. All right, I may not look like there's progress in here, but I've got partial load. That bag is the stuff from the dollar store. Take it up to my bathroom. And then Jason just brought me more whites to add to the towels right there to do a load, but I've got a load started in there and I just pulled a load out. Actually, I just pulled that load out to fold and this one is drying. Door open. So now I've got this load here to put away. Also, little Sacconi Jolies to keep me company. All right, laundry is partially done. This box here is for our trip to Hawaii. We don't know if it's gonna happen and it's hard to keep looking at it. So this all can stay here because it's for the beach right now. Yeah, you can just toss it there. We don't wanna use this for- That's to go, no, that one's, keep it in the bucket. That one's to pack. So I'm gonna have him take all of this. Uh, those are, yeah, they need those now. There might be more, I'll go through this upstairs. But he's gonna take that upstairs for me. Get it out of the way. I need to make a new bucket for like summertime towels in this area now, just because we do have a month before we technically start summer, but we do have some warm days coming up in about a week and a half. These I need to take back to my friend and then I can put my beach bag I take this, let me show you what's in here. This is my bag I got from Hawaii last year. I'm gonna keep it packed for the most part and then I can, I'll show you what to put in it. So this is just like your bathroom duty bag. It has essentials in it. It also has some lotion and some extra sunscreen just in case. And then it has like a little comb in case someone has tangles some sanitizer, 
elastics in case people forget. And then like I have an extra granola bar in here. There's actually a secret stash of chocolate. I'm surprised that hasn't melted at the beach so far. I think that's, oh, and then the, in the front pocket, sometimes I keep like an extra chapstick. Yeah, there's one in there. So then all I have to do when I go to the beach is I just take my wallet out of my purse. If I need a chapstick, I grab a chapstick. Then I'll grab my keys and my camera, my phone, and I'll put it in this bag. And then I can go to the beach with that bag instead of my purse. And then it's easy to just transfer back to the purse. That way this counter is more cleared off. I'm trying to decide, do I get a bucket from my stash of them and put towels in here? Then we can just grab them or do I just go ahead and put them in a beach bag and just keep putting it in the garage like I used to do? Just trying to decide. But I just need to have the space cleared off while we enjoy summer here at home for the meantime. Ashley, I am so proud of you. That's a lot of dishes to wash. Good job. Chelsea, you're getting lunch, even though it's, oh, our lunches are between two and three. Right? Okay. Okay, are you gonna get lunch, Ashley? Are you not? Oh, we did your hair for the first time in quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, let's just do your hair today. So I got myself ready. It's like super late in the day. I got something from Amazon, but I'm gonna make you wait because I am still working on getting my Ikea desk there's a little drawer to go underneath there you guys even being up at like five in the morning with Jason and up late at night when he can't sleep I'm constantly on the Ikea website trying to order that desk drawer as well as a few other supplies if I'm making the order and I cannot get a pickup time my friend has told me it's really difficult to get the pickup time the click and pick up or whatever they do I think I don't know how long it took her to get a pickup time, but it's been about two weeks for me, so that's getting ridiculous. But I am determined to get my IKEA desk drawer. As soon as I get that, I have started to buy a few things to kind of help organize and freshen up my space. Jason stole my pen. Can't stand when he steals my nice pens. But Jason and I are antsy. I'm done with my chores. Kids are done with their chores over there in the kitchen. And my laundry is done. So girls, we're gonna go out. Is daddy already outside? Yeah. Okay, we're going. Be good. Chelsea, did you finish your homework? Uh-huh. All finished? Yes. Lexia? Yes. Are you caught Lexia. up to only one more? Are you full on your minutes for Lexia? I'll check on that. Right? Yeah, check on that. Get to the full 80, 80 minutes. I'm not doing 80 minutes. Then you'll do it tomorrow? Not all of it. You ha If you have 20 minutes left, uh, then you can... Check. Welcome to my world of... You be getting I, today or tomorrow. Tomorrow. I will tell them that it's tomorrow. Yeah. You want to tell them about your deal? So Ashley has been struggling, oh, and we gave her an offer. What was the offer, Ashley? If I don't fight until Monday, the, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The whole week, kind of. And then I can get pancakes from McDonald's. They just added pancakes for their menu. And she's Wait. so excited. Wait. They've taken a lot of stuff off the menu during our quarantine Wait, period. Mom. At McDonald's. Hey, sorry. Stop. I want an IHOP. <laughs> you want a what? IHOP. IHOP. No, we're not going to IHOP. That's a waste of money. But this girl is gonna get pancakes and hash browns and hopefully they have orange juice. I did. If she doesn't start fighting about her homework, but right? I kind of a little bit fighting, but that was not like screaming. Uh, it was about your bedroom. It was just like kind of like, just not situation. Really screaming, it was just like a few minutes. Okay, but you did your homework for four days without fighting. So tomorrow morning, if I can get my tushy out of bed, because breakfast doesn't go all day. They only when, do it for breakfast. When does it start? We might actually have to set alarms for one of the first times. <laughs> Just to go get your pancakes. All right, Dad's ready. We're going to go. Be good. 
So I wanted to have Jason explain this. I'm trying to turn down the air a little bit. She's trying to get me on record saying that Dana was right. If we can get two days in a row of him having to admit that I was right, all afternoon and all evening, well, all evening. just get one time ever of you admitting I'm right. Because you're rarely right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday he got home from work around what six six thirty or so and From that time on I kept telling him your dad brought medicine dad for me yes I you did told me he brought medicine, but you didn't tell me like I didn't want it to conflict with the other meds I had and I wasn't sure if I could take them all but you kept said, complaining of your acid reflux being a problem True uh, Yes, yeah. okay so he kept complaining of that and then he went to bed early and then I came up to bed at like 11 I came up fairly early so we're laying in bed and he was really having to sit up and he was struggling with the acid reflux he was fine breathing he was kind of I don't know it just feels way uncomfortable because you got this bubble in your chest right and I kept asking him did you take the medicine no, you didn't. yes I did I yes I did I've taken everything I've taken everything and I was like including the medicine your dad brought over for the acid reflux you didn't get a prescription for that you need to take that. I was worried it would it like, not work with the prescription. It was 12.30. It was 12.30 a.m. And he was like, ugh, fine, I'll go and get it. And I'll take it. And I was I like. Went, and I Googled if the tube, if that medicine could work with my other medicines. It's just antibiotic. And a. Uh, a steroid. steroid thing. Yeah, but guess what? They may interfere with okay, each other. But, okay, whatever. And I Googled and they don't, so. So he takes it and he was just telling me, tell me what happened after you took that medicine, Jace. I can't. We're about to get food and. No, just tell him what happened. <laughs> just tell him what happened. Okay, we'll get food. Hang on, we'll get food really quick. And then he's going to tell you. I'll okay, you. really quick before we get our food. <laughs> you were just telling me. Well, either way, I took like... a pill. I, my stomach felt like, a, a, like one of those, you know, beaker things and then the tube. And it was all just full of water, like all the way up to here. I dropped the pill in. I almost feel like I could, I could just feel it going down and just, I don't know, turning all that liquid to gas. And it was just, blah, 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 blah. and then I just burped like crazy a bunch of times. <laughs> and I could feel my stomach just totally gurgling. Mm -hmm. And it just took all the pressure away. Who was right? <laughs> <laughs> he still won't say it. He felt so good after taking that yes. medication. Yes, he I felt did. so good. So good. So he's doing better today. But he stayed home, which I'm glad. Yeah, I need to. I need was to rest. I'm tired. And and I was, yeah, I, I, I got to get this leveled out so I can function. Yeah. So and it's doing good. Modern pharmaceuticals. I guess this is my future, right? I've hit that age where now I'm just gonna pop pills until I die. Yes. It's also a sad <laughs> yes. It's also a sad day because I was doing my makeup today and I realized I have gray hair on the top of my head. And I'm like, oh I still have months before I can even go get my hair done. Yeah. So here any our night. Playing a little game of Rumi Cube. And then are you guys really gonna do a fire? Yeah, we got it all set. Okay. So we're gonna play a game? We haven't done it in a long time. I'm getting closer and closer to Abby. <laughs> our distance is, our, our our difference in points is getting closer and closer. So we're, we I'm still in this. So we haven't settled on a prize yet. If you're new to our channel, we're playing a constant game of Ruma Cube. And we're into the thousands of points at this point. So, well, I mean, you and Dad. Well, me and Dad are. <laughs> Abby. Is Abby. Her she is not. But I'm closing in on her gap. So, I have a chance of winning. And the prize, we don't know what the prize is, but the winner does get a prize at the end of our quarantine period. So, we're going to play a game really quick, and then we're going to go out and do a fire pit with the kids. So,. It'll be kind of fun. Like so Ashley, bad. say that again. Okay, you so she that one. Ashley set up my thing, and she's like, "So you only have one <laughs> thing one. you can play." <laughs> Ashley is kind of a traitor because she kind of helps mom. I kind of know she, she helps really them. helps. No, she, what she does is she has a mom place down, and then she helps Abby with her place, and then it helps down. Abby go out. <laughs> yeah. She starts out with me, and then she goes it's all nice. And then she totally is a traitor. No, it's not ready. I have, no, I'm, this is how she wins. She cheats. Okay. Look behind me. No, no, no. 
So you're doing good. Like right, right here, right? Try to scrape it into a pile somewhere. It's hard without moving at all. No, you're right. Because once I get a good pile, I've gotten like three good piles and then it just falls over. Oh, it just rattles everywhere, doesn't it? Oh, 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 oh come on, it's so close to catching on. No, actually, Wait, let it go, let it go. Oh, I can see it. Is it going? Okay, now let's try to get some light of fire over there. Now, where's that other board? Yeah, put more on top of it because that's just going to burn out. <laughs> no, don't light start. But... It works. Good job, girls. All right, Dad, you're in charge of the chocolate bars. Five. Five bars left. Okay, we'll be there. I get a whole bar, so that's only four bars for the rest of you. That's one bar a piece. You already just ate ice cream, so don't even. Thank you. I want a marshmallow too. Oh, you're doing good. I don't want to get stinky smelly, so I'm not gonna. Maybe I'll come back out. Should I come back out? Yeah. Well, but Kaylee is wanting to be out here with Evelyn, so you guys can stay out here for a little bit longer. But here, can you open that? A little bit longer. Do you like doing a little bit longer? Yeah. No, little like a half hour. Give it a rest. You're fine. You like the chair, Abby? Yeah. If I come out, I'll be sitting in there. No. Ah. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, here, come around here. We'll get it. It's okay. It'll taste better than you think. It's fine. So it'll taste better you can than you think. Taste it. Yeah. Try it. It'll be yeah, fine. Daddy got her a good little marshmallow. Are you excited? This is your one and only, okay? Yeah, I won. One. Okay, turn it tight. You ready? Can I have another turn one it sideways, lay flat. Just the cracker and a marshmallow? Yeah. Mm-mm. Well, it's not coming off very well. Oh, oh. oh you just. <laughs> Dad fail. It's more fail. Pick it up. All right. Oh, okay. There you go, kiddo. Okay, Mama came back out, and it's my turn in my chair. She just barely. And so, I totally sympathize with you, but Mommy gets her chair. Get out. I got a Get out. Oh, about so Dad this? said he'd make me a s'more. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that is the perfect. Yeah, we get just a little warm. You just a little bit warmer. Them. You gotta pinch them off. There we go. There. All right. Okay. So but I'm gonna let that warm up here by the fire. And then we're gonna stoke up the fire for warmth now, because Kaylee and Evelyn are coming over to sit by it now. Here. <laughs> yeah, come in. She can't get in. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Hi. Good thing you didn't hear what my dad said. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we got a campfire so that Evelyn will leave um, her house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> More Kaylee. What? Kaylee's left the house more times since we got the campfire than she has in a month. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to bed. Kaylee and Abby and Evelyn are outside and we got shoved inside because they're so embarrassed by us. Um, we told dad jokes and they just didn't appreciate that. So we're gonna technically end our video right now, but we're gonna go and try and scare them later on. It has to get like more dark. So maybe in like an, well, Avalon has to She's go home. A couple minutes. It'll get darker. Yeah, we have 40 minutes. If we can. So about that's, a, we're gonna try to scare him. Yeah. So we'll so, try to get that on camera. This is us saying good night, but just know if we get a good scare out of them. We'll add it. We'll add this, add that at the very end. So stay tuned. I'll come up and tickle your back. Yeah, because we might have a funny scare. Because Evelyn gets really scared easy. So we you might be able well, we're gonna go around out this front door and around to the side gate out the back. Sneak up on the gate. Yeah, and then like scare them that way. So, and there's been bears and cougars and bobcats in our neighborhood for the past couple weeks. Oh, so, we, oh, what? Uh, do you still have that one like head thingy, or do you borrow that from? Borrow it. So we could go and and like just rustle the bushes, just a little bit like an animal's kind of moving through it. One sneaks up by the gate. We're just like pounding the against one, the gate. No, no, one, I'll go like either up to the gate, one will go up to the gate, the other one will rustle the bushes, like a, like an animal kind of going through it. And, and then you kind of rustle, like, what's that, what's that? And we'll pause a little bit, and then oh, the next person will go, ah, yeah. and bang the gate. <laughs> I hope this works, because we'll get them really I good. I don't even like get that big of a reaction. 
I know. Okay, we're gonna go, but we'll maybe see you guys again. All right. I wish I'd known. <laughs> she was just about to go out the door. You will see your pants. <laughs> if she'd come up to the door and I'd done that, she probably would have peed her pants. Oh, I wish I'd known. <laughs> oh. Oh. house? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you could go out No. No. You would have heard that. Yeah. So. All right. Good well, time. that was fun. Are you going home soon? Time. 10. A few minutes. Yep. All right. Rah! <laughs> How did you not know? <laughs> oh, I can't even see you. Yeah, we were standing there waiting for you. Look, I can't even see you. These are pants. Yes, yeah, she's wearing pants. Go. I can't even see you guys. Bye, Evelyn.